Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here at Value Village here in Mission BC and this is my absolute favorite thrift store ever. Like this is my favorite one. So I made the drive out here. I'm super excited. I have not been here in over a month so it's gonna be like all brand new stock. And today I'm actually gonna be thrifting for my Pinterest board or thrifting from my Pinterest board. I'm gonna try to find things that are on my Pinterest board if that makes sense. I did this video a few weeks ago and everyone seemed to really enjoy it so I wanted to do it again today. So here is my Pinterest board and kind of the inspo of the things I'm gonna be thrifting today. So I'm just hoping it's a good day. Every single time I've come here, I've done really well. I'm hoping I'm not jinxing that now, but I think it's gonna be a good day. So let's head in and see what I find. Every single time I come to this thrift store, I like to start in the bags here and in the bags over here, and then I like to go through the shoes. So I'm gonna quickly check the bags here, see if there's any goodies. I have definitely found goodies here in the past, a lot of vintage stuff here. So let's cross our fingers, it's good today. I'm not a huge fan of black purses. I usually like a colored one or like a brown one. So usually I don't really go through the black purses. Usually I just like skip through to the colors over here and I already found one bag. Look at this little green mini bag. It is so unique. It is $10.99, so it's okay. It's not a brand name or anything, but I think it's really cool. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Look at this leather one I found. Isn't this a vibe, this one? Oh my goodness. This one's cool. I think it's like a long over the shoulder one. I, let's pull the strap out or kind of. Oh, it's like a mini bag this one but i kind of like this big buckle and it's like a nice like vintage leather one so we got some coach bags here for 7.99 that's actually a pretty good deal for coach what other things do we have down here look at this bag i just found oh my goodness i am in love with it it's like a long over the shoulder one and it's like those fuzzy purses you see all over instagram and it's only 4.99 and it's like a vintage Aldo one. Look at that. Probably not vintage, but it's definitely like a 2000s Aldo bag, which I'm definitely putting in my cart. Okay, last bag I found is this ginormous purse, I guess. It's almost like a tote bag. It's so big. You can see in the mirror how big it is, but I just love it because it has like that patchwork and I know big size bags like this are coming in or coming back in 2021. So I think I'm going to pick this one up, even though it is $16.99, a little pricey, and I don't really know the brand. Yeah, it, I don't know that brand there. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Okay, I lied. I found one more bag. It's this bright blue Roots leather bag here, and I just love this pop of color here. I don't know. It's a really good quality bag, obviously, because it's a leather Roots one, and it's only $7.99, so I don't know if I need this many bags, but I'll put it in my cart for now just because I really like that pop of color there. So I've been sewing a lot more lately, so I'm actually gonna look through all the fabric here before I go to the shoes to see if there's any nice fabric. I am definitely looking for some knit just because I wanna make some more knit tops. I even made the shirt that I'm wearing right now. Here it is the shirt I made. It's just like a super basic long sleeve, but it has like this nice um, like stitching here. So I wanna make more shirts like this. So I'm just gonna quickly go through here just because they have a lot of fabric here okay it's finally shoe time and i'm gonna start in the size what size is this six to seven i know these aren't my size but sometimes they put shoes in the wrong spot so we're gonna start here if only these boots were my size i'd buy them in a heartbeat i want go-go boots so badly and i've yet to find them okay so i just finished in the shoes and i didn't find any shoes so i'm gonna start going through all the clothes now i'm just here in the jackets and i'm just quickly going through the jackets because you guys know i don't need any more jackets but i have to look just in case there is that one gem so i'm just gonna go from this side of the store to the other side of the store and just go through everything today i'm really feeling the store just because i did so well in the purses I think I'm just gonna do well in this whole store. Okay, so we're here in the long sleeve section and I'm mainly looking for those second skin tops. I haven't found any yet. So these are second skin tops for my Pinterest board that I'm kind of looking for. And they're harder to find at the thrift store. I rarely find them, but I'm always on the look to find them. 
and one day you know when i'm least expecting it I'll, I'll find i'm also looking for just basic mesh tops too because i can also thrift flip those to make them more like the second skin tops i'm looking for so either i'm looking for like the dream second skin top or mesh tops which are more realistic to find here i don't know if i like this or not i kind of like this little frill thing here but i don't think i will wear this but i do think this one's pretty rad very 2000 vibes right here okay i am really really digging this pattern it gives me that Paloma wool vibes from this like Paloma wool sweater that's on my Pinterest board So I think I'm gonna pick this one up. It's only $2.99 I just hope it fits because I'm really really digging this pattern. Ooh, this is definitely a Pinterest vibe right here This Tommy Hilfiger sweater and it's $7.99 That's actually a pretty good deal for Tommy Hilfiger at Value Village because I've seen them up to like $15-$16 dollars for a sweater So I'm kind of surprised how cheap this is so let's put that in i didn't know hunter made clothes but this is a really nice sweater obviously really good quality it's like embossed right there like that is so nice it's like a nice cropped one too i don't think i will get it it's 12.99 so that's not a bad price i just didn't know they even made clothes so this is the mesh i am talking about when i want to make those second skin tops like this is the type of material i'm looking for this is so close because i really like this pattern and this shirt in general but i don't think i can make a second skin top from this just because of this v-neck here and this little circle thing here okay first of all this is definitely pinterest vibes it is like this knit blazer and second of all i love this color so this is going in the cart okay so we're finally moving our way into the sweaters now so i'm here in the cardigans i don't really need cardigans or really have anything specific on my pinterest board for cardigans but i'm still gonna look so i'm now in the sweater section here and i definitely think i could probably find some pinterest pins here just because i've been pinning a lot of sweaters lately and you can definitely find some cool sweaters at the thrift store so let's see what i find i'm so confused with this what what is this this is a sweater and it just goes over top i am like super super confused there's no arms it looks like someone just cut the sweater but they obviously didn't because it's made like this look at this sweater i just found it's this bright orange one it has like this cool geometric pattern but look at this tag look at this vintage tag here i'm gonna put it in my cart it might not be my color but i definitely really like it so the section of t-shirts i have not really been into for a while now and i just haven't been thrifting t-shirts in a really long time because i thrifted a lot of t-shirts before and now i just don't typically wear just basic t-shirts i like to wear like you know a little bit you know dynamic tops so i'm quickly going through the t-shirts but um probably won't find any so this is a section i prefer over t-shirts so i'm gonna go through all of the short sleeve knit i guess they call it but i think it's just like the fancier tops here so we're gonna go through all of these all the way to the end down there Well, I feel like my luck ran out in the cardigan sweater section because I haven't found anything since then. And um, yeah, there's just not very much. I'm here in the skirts now and um, again, not that much unfortunately, but I am getting close to the jeans section and the pants. So I'm crossing my fingers. I do well there because you know, I'm always on the hunt for some fun pants. So maybe all my luck is over there. So in my recent video, I said that a new trend in 2021 was going to be knitwear and I've actually seen a few knitwear skirts or knit skirts I should say in the skirt section and I'm not a huge fan of the colors but I just wanted to show you guys that you can find knitwear at the thrift store and if you found this skirt you could probably find a pretty close sweater to match. So we finally made it to the denim and this is the store where I found my vintage Levi's. So I am having high hopes here that there's actually some good denim here. Sometimes there's not, sometimes there is, but this has been a very lucky spot for me in the past. I have been wanting brown jeans for the longest time and I still haven't been able to find a pair. This one's close, but it says it's a petite and I'm definitely not a petite. And the reason why I want brown jeans is one, because they're all over my Pinterest board and I love them. And two, I really want to throw flip this pair of pants right here. And I definitely need a brown pair of jeans to start with to make it. So hopefully one day I will find it so I'll be able to make these. 
So now that I'm looking at my reference photo from my Pinterest board right here, you can see they do have some like tan color in here. So right beside the brown pants I just showed you, I just saw these ones right here and they're a bit higher rise and they might be a bit longer. So this might be a good pant to get and then also get this pant and then I can kind of combine them to make them. I think that might work. They're only $6.99 each, so they're really not that expensive because I didn't really want to spend like $15 a pair and then be like $30 for the pair. So this will only be like $14. Yeah, $14 for it. And I think that'll work. I might want to get one more color because there's three different shades of brown here. There's like a cream, a taupe, and then a brown. So maybe one more pair of jeans I need. And look what I just found the perfect pair of jeans to go with these three colors. So I am so excited to try this thrift flip now and make these pair of jeans here with these pair of jeans. So I just realized I could have just went to the pants section and found like the same thing. I could get corduroy and do like a corduroy pair of pants. I think that'd be nice too, just because there's so much brown in the actual pants section, not the jeans section. So if you're wanting to do this thrift flip, go to the pants section because there is a ton of brown here. I'm in the men's section now and I'm just looking through the jackets and I found this brown Columbia windbreaker and I kind of really dig it. It's $23.50 so a little, a little pricey but it's also Columbia. I just really love this color. This color is all over my Pinterest board so I think I'll try it on just because I kind of need another raincoat. I kind of dig this sweater, this um, Ketchikan Alaska sweater. I think this one's really rad. It's only $6.99 and it looks really, really cozy. It looks like it's vintage the tag here which is pretty rad i don't know i think this one's just a nice sweater for like a morning walk so i've yet to find a nice pair of oversized dress pants i showed this trend in my last video of like thrifting 2021 trends and i think my best bet is to find it in the men's section here so i'm just looking through all the dress pants and see if there's any that will work Okay, my cart is very full, so I'm gonna start trying these on or holding them up to a mirror and see which ones I wanna get and which ones I wanna leave. So I was pretty successful in there as usual at the store, so I'm pretty happy with the items I got. I ended up spending $84 today, so a decent, a decent haul for you guys. So I'm excited to show you guys all the haul, so let's fast forward to the haul. So there's actually a couple bonus items in this haul today because I went thrifting a few days ago and found a few items. So I'm just going to include those items in today's haul. So the haul is going to be a little bit bigger than expected. So I'm going to get into the items that I thrifted a few days ago and then I'll get into the items that I thrifted today. So a few days ago I went to Value Village looking for fabric because I sewed a lot last weekend and I ended up finding this jacket there and honestly this is a jacket I have been looking for at the thrift store for so long so I was so excited when I found this jacket. It is just this faux leather jacket with the fur on the freaking sleeves and the collar. Like look at this jacket it is beautiful it is an amazing condition it looks like it's probably a 2000s le chateau jacket here and i am just i'm obsessed with this it's a white one which i was super excited about and it's also not dirty at all which is pretty crazy so this is the first item i found a few days ago when i went to the thrift store and didn't really mean to buy clothes so the next item I found was this popcorn shirt. I think this is so fun. I used to have one of these when I was like five years old and I just really like this green color. It was $5.99, so it was a pretty good deal. And I just thought, you know, paired with some fun pants, I can make a really, really fun outfit. And the last item I found at the thrift store when I went there to go buy fabric is this cute midi skirt right here. And I just think this fabric is so fun, like the pattern here. So I ended up picking this one up. It's actually a vintage skirt. You can see from the tag here, it is a vintage one. It's kind of faded, so you can't really read the tag very well, but it does say made in Canada, so it is a vintage one. It is slightly big on me, so I'm gonna have to take it in just a tad, but I just really loved this print, and I thought, you know, it had a lot of Paloma wool vibes when I found this, so I picked this one up for $10.99, I believe. So now we can get into the haul from today's thrift with me. So the first item I have here is some fabric, which I don't remember if I showed you guys, but I ended up finding this fabric right here, which I really like the print and the coloring on this fabric. So I picked this one up. I believe it's vintage just by looking at the material and feeling it. It feels like vintage polyester and it was only $4.99 and it actually has the perfect amount of fabric here to make a pair of thumb pants. So I am so excited to make these into 
some fun pants. Next, we have this turtleneck here, which is very much Paloma Wool vibes again. And I don't know what this is gonna fit. It looks kind of tiny, this one. So if it's a little too short in the arms, I might just make it into like a t-shirt or something. Just, I really like this pattern and just the fabric and everything. So I ended up picking this one up for only $2.99. So I wasn't gonna leave it behind for $2.99 just because even if it doesn't fit, I, I, just, I just love this fabric. I wanna do something with this. So as you guys saw at the thrift store, I found so many good purses today. Like the purse section was really the jackpot section in the thrift store today. And I ended up finding like six purses, but I knew I did not need six more purses. So I ended up getting it down to three purses. So the first purse I ended up buying was this vintage leather one. And it's quite noisy now that I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna be jingling a lot when I wear this purse, but I couldn't leave it behind because it is so cute. I love it. It's vintage. It's vintage leather. It's just so unique. Like look at this buckle here and look at the buckle at the front there and just look at the quality of this bag. It's definitely very, very, very old, this purse. I don't even know how old it is just because there's not even tags in it. Like it could possibly be handmade. I don't know, but you can tell it has been used. It is good quality and it's going to last a long time. And it was only $7.99. I don't remember if I said that, but it was only $7.99, so that was a really good deal. The next purse I ended up finding was this blue Roots purse, and I'm so excited for this just because I love this blue color. This blue color is amazing. I love it. I love this the pop of color. I just feel like this is gonna go with so many outfits, just like neutral outfits, and I just, I just wanna make my outfits more colorful, so I was so excited when I found this one. It was only $7.99, just like the last one, so they are pretty good deals in the purse section. It is a leather one, and it just needs to be cleaned up just a little bit, but overall, it's in really good condition. Okay, and the last purse I found, which is easily the best purse, or maybe the best item of the whole haul, it's this purse. Look at this purse. <laughs> Look at this purse. Isn't this so like on trend right now? Like patchwork and animal print and also fuzzy, you know, like a fuzzy purse that everyone has. Like Look at this bag. I am so excited to wear this bag. You don't even know. And it's like a good size too. It's not too small. It's like a good size so I can fit a decent amount of stuff in here. It was only $4.99, which I... I am so shocked that it was only $4.99 and um, I just can't even believe that someone donated this. I can't believe I was lucky enough. I was late to the thrift store today and I was still lucky enough that no one stole this. Like there were some trendy people there. I'm surprised no one found this. No one went to the purse section and that's why you go to the purse section first because you find these kind of gems there. So as I mentioned in the thrift store, I found these three pairs of jeans here and I'm gonna be making or attempting to make this pair of patchwork jeans here and I'm really excited about this because I've actually been obsessing over these pants and I've been wanting to do a pair of patchwork jeans in the future and just do like a DIY you know thrift flip for you guys so I'm excited that I finally got around to purchasing the pants for that thrift flip and I think these three pairs of pants are going to work so well together to make this pair of patchwork pants. But now that I'm thinking there's a lot of fabric here so I'm definitely going to be able to make a pair of pants and something else just because there's a lot of fabric here. So maybe I'll make a jacket or a top or another pair of pants to go with it. Definitely I can make two items from the amount of fabric here. So I ended up buying the Columbia windbreaker or rain jacket, whatever you want to call it, just because it rains here every single day pretty much in Vancouver and um, I definitely need another rain jacket. So I'm excited for this one. This one's a little bit more trendier than my other rain jacket because my other one's just like a basic one I wear in the morning for my walks when it rains. But this one, I can actually wear out when I'm wearing like a nice outfit and this will match a little bit better just because it's a, it's a nice brown one. It's a clumpy one or I think you'll match nicer than my other ones. So I splurged a little bit. It was $23.50. It's a woman's large, so it's actually a really nice fit on me. It's a little bit oversized, but I think that's perfect for rain jackets just because you want to put something underneath. No one just wears a windbreaker, so I love this. I'm excited I found this. It's like perfect condition and is beautiful. It's definitely on trend too. And my last item, which I don't believe 
I showed you guys. I just picked it up last minute and made like a last minute decision to get it. But it's this vintage Tommy Hilfiger denim dress. Isn't it so cute? I was so excited when I found this. It was 1950, so that's why I really had to decide. I was like, do I want to spend 20 bucks on this dress? But really, I, I did. It's a vintage Tommy Hilfiger dress. Why wouldn't I spend $20 on it? So I'm really excited about this. It's a really cute denim one with the halter at the front here, and then it's got a nice open back. So I think this is so cute. Very 2000s, very 90s. So I'm excited to wear this in the summer just because summer is going to be creeping up on us like anytime. No, okay, not any time, but you know, sooner than we think. And then by the time it becomes summer, then it's really hard to shop for, you know, summer clothes at the thrift store. So that's why I like to start early and start to get my summer clothes in the winter so I'm prepared when, you know, the heat actually hits. Well, anyways, so that is it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed this thrift with me and thrift haul and just thrifting for some Pinterest pins. It was really fun. I really enjoyed it. And if you want to see more videos of me thrifting my Pinterest board, let me know down in the comments below. And also let me know which item was your favorite today. Definitely my favorite today was this beautiful bag that's on my wall here. So. That was my favorite, but I would love to hear what item was your favorite today. But other than that, I want to say thank you once again for watching today's video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.